Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2020 VUS Bands Yamaha Cup event. I'm Adam Hamway, your host for this evening's virtual award ceremony. VUS Bands is the newest offering from US Bands, conceived and implemented with assistance from music educators from around the country to serve the young, talented performers in these most unusual of times. VUS Band serves as a virtual competitive platform for individuals, ensembles, and bands of all sizes and skill sets to experience meaningful musical participation throughout the fall of 2020 with the goal to assist in students' development as individuals or members of a performing ensemble. Over 50 performances were adjudicated in this week's Yamaha Cup, submitted from schools in 10 states with performances by traditional marching bands, standstill, percussion and visual ensembles, individual soloists, as well as the all-new creative class. All are available for viewing at flowmarching.com. U.S. Bands is one of the largest scholastic music service organizations in the United States, serving 500 programs and over 50,000 students each year through 100 events in 15 states. The mission of U.S. Bands as a nonprofit musical youth organization is to create educational and equitable performance opportunities that will assist in the development of young people into magnificent human beings. U.S. Bands would like to thank its corporate partners who support all of the efforts of today's educators and students. The Yamaha Corporation of America, Demoulin Uniforms, Zildjian Vic Firth, Remo Incorporated, the band's mobile app, Pepware, E-Adjudicate, and Flow Marching. To begin the ceremony, here's a message from two of the U.S. Bands team members, Eric Kitchenman and Ginny Kraft, as well as a very special message from tonight's sponsor, and U.S. Band's presenting sponsor, the Yamaha Corporation of America. Hi, my name is Eric Kitcherman, and I'm the adjudicating coordinator for U.S. Bands. I just want to say thank you to all the, the students who are on fields tonight throughout the United States working hard at what you do. Your perseverance, your strength, your skill sets are just amazing to us, and we're so very pleased to be supportive to it. Uh, a shout out to band directors and staffs and parents for all your support as well. And uh, certainly a big shout out for our adjudicators, for our community, for uh, your offering your skill sets and your professionalism and being a part of this uh, big co virtual community that we're all in. Thank you very much and we wish everybody the best of luck this virtual season. Hello. I bring you greetings from the team at U.S. Bands. I'm Ginny Kraft, and tonight it is my pleasure to give a big shout out to the outstanding educators, instructors, and staff members who are working hard to make positive things happen in this crazy time that we call 2020. All over the country, on fields like the one behind me, in parking lots, and even behind Zoom cameras, students are getting together to perform and to pursue the musical activities they love. Restrictions vary from state to state, but one thing that we at U.S. Bands are noticing doesn't change is the dedication and commitment of these fine educators to make positive things happen for their students. As you view the award ceremonies tonight, you will see marching ensembles, standstill ensembles of all sizes and shapes, You'll see everything from individual entries to full-blown marching bands. And even in our creative class, folks behind a camera working together to perform music. Anything it takes to make positive things happen and to move forward with the musical arts and the art form we all love. If there's anything that we can do to support you, that is what we're here for, to serve and to give you our support. So congratulations to every school represented here this evening. And if you haven't done so already, take a moment to thank that band director, that staff member, that instructor, who, given all of the odds, has put together with innovation and with dedication opportunities for students to perform in the musical arts. To all of those directors, staffs, instructors, we salute you. Hi everyone. 
We're so excited that you're participating in the virtual U.S. Bands competition. We wish we could be there with you at your local and regional events. But we want to thank you for not giving up. And for being a part of keeping music programs alive in our schools during these unprecedented times. You know, we've heard from U.S. Bands how amazing your programs are this year. And we are so proud of how far you've come this year. You are all winners to us. You show up, you practice, and you have the courage to compete in less than perfect circumstances. Thank you to you band members for your hard work. Thank you to your parents and families for their support. And thank you, thank you, thank you to your band directors who are making miracles happen to keep music in our schools. We can't wait to be with you all again for next year's Yamaha Cup. But until then, congratulations and keep playing from your friends at Yamaha. In keeping with the traditions of a U.S. band's marching band competition and backed by popular demand, we are joined by Westchester University and comparable Golden Rams marching band with a very special performance for you. Hi, and thank you for participating in the Virtual U.S. Band's Yamaha Cup. My name is Erica, and I'm a drum major for the Westchester University Incomparable Golden Rams Marching Band. As a proud member of the Yamaha family ourselves, we would like to thank the Yamaha Corporation of America for their continued support of excellence in music education. This season, we are inviting musicians of all ages to perform with us as part of our Ram Band Play Along series. Tonight's video features current and former members of our incomparable snare line performing our on-field battery warm-up, Baby Butter Sauce, written by Ram Band alum, Brad Shaner. Before we get to this evening's award ceremony, we wanted to take a moment to say congratulations to all of the students, educators, and advocates who have been able to find safe and creative ways to continue pursuing their passion for the marching arts. At Westchester University, we believe that opportunities are hidden within every challenge, and we thank you for embracing the opportunity to share your performances with one another through virtual U.S. bands. Stay safe, stay strong, and Rams up. And now the results. In the Ensemble category, Standstill Brass Division. All of our entries come to us from South Brunswick High School of South Brunswick, New Jersey, under the direction of TJ Brungard. In third place, with a score of 73.5, that's 73.5, South Brunswick High School Brass White. In second place, with a score of 79, that's 79.00, South Brunswick High School Brass Gold.
And in first place, with a score of 80.0, that's 80.0, South Brunswick High School Brass Black. In the Marching Brass Division, in first place, with a score of 82.17, that's 82.17. North Penn Marching Knights Brass from Lansdale, Pennsylvania, under the direction of Joe Centinello. In the standstill woodwind division, all of our entries come to us from South Brunswick High School in South Brunswick, New Jersey, under the direction of TJ Brungard. In third place, with a score of 77.25, that's 77.25, 7 South Brunswick High School Black. In second place, with a score of 78, that's 78.00, South Brunswick High School Woodwinds White. And in first place, with a score of 79.75, that's 79.75, South Brunswick High School Wood wins gold! In the Marching Woodwind Division, in first place, with a score of 84.17, that's 84.17, North Penn Marching Knights Woodwinds from Lensdale, Pennsylvania, under the direction of Joe Centinello. In the Marching Mixed Winds Division, in first place, with a score of 81.5, that's 81.5, Dartmouth High School wins from Dartmouth, Massachusetts, under the direction of Ian Flint. In the Marching Percussion Division, in second place, with a score of 76.33, that's 76.33. North Penn High School from Lensdale, Pennsylvania, under the direction of Joe Centinello. And in first place, with a score of 83.83, that's 83.83, Dartmouth High School from Dartmouth, Massachusetts, under the direction of Ian Flint. In the Visual Ensemble Division, in third place, with a score of 77.25, that's 77.25. South Brunswick High School Color Guard Gold, under the direction of Ashley delgado Demar and Chris Carbon.
in second place with a score of 78.75. That's 78.75. North Penn High School Color Guard under the direction of Joe Centinello. And in first place, with a score of 82.5, that's 82.5, South Brunswick High School Color Guard Black, under the direction of Ashley delgado Demore and Chris Carbon. The results in creative class. In first place, with a score of 81.25, that's 81.25. Immaculata High School from Somerville, New Jersey, under the direction of Nicholas Seifert. In our individual category, all of our entrants come to us from Heightstown High School under the direction of Justin Hallett. Each will be receiving a rating for their performance. In the Brass Division, Ryan Ketterer on French Horn with a rating of excellent. Brooke Vagrin on Trumpet with a rating of excellent. Maeve McGowan on Euphonium with a rating of outstanding. In the Percussion Division, Morgan Koppel on Piano with a rating of excellent. In the Woodwind Division, Jenna Gottlieb on flute with a rating of outstanding. Yannick Mia on bass clarinet with a rating of outstanding. Lily Hezroni on flute with a rating of outstanding. Alejandro Gonzalez Palmer on flute with a rating of superior. And now the band category. In the Standstill Division, in second place with a score of 72.5. That's 72.5. East Lime High School from East Lime, Connecticut, under the direction of Angelica Fedrowski. And in first place with a score of 79.5, that's 79.5, South Jones High School from Ellisville, Mississippi, under the direction of Brian Joyce. Moving to Division I Marching Band, we will announce the top five scores and ratings for all other placements. With a rating of excellent, Delaware Valley Regional High School from Frenchtown, New Jersey, under the direction of TJ Hayden. With a rating of excellent, Orville Platt High School from Meriden, Connecticut, under the direction of Lucien Gilmetti. With a rating of excellent, Whitehall High School from Whitehall, Pennsylvania, under the direction of Matt Tanzos. In fifth place, with a score of 74.33, that's 74.33, Bethel High School from Bethel, Connecticut, under the direction of Emmanuel Arbolina. In fourth place, with a score of 74.67, that's 74.67, Pulaski County High School from Somerset, Kentucky, under the direction of Scott Sexton.
In third place, with a score of 75.00, that's 75.00, New Oxford High School from New Oxford, Pennsylvania, under the direction of Sean Compapiano. In second place, with a score of 77.00, that's 77.00, Providence Catholic High School from New Lenox, Illinois, under the direction of Lawrence Rogers. And in first place, with a score of 78.5, that's 78.5, Wayne Valley High School from Wayne, New Jersey, under the direction of Gabriel Batiste. Congratulations to our Division I bands, moving to Division II marching band. In fourth place, with a score of 74.5, that's 74.5, Lenape Valley Regional High School. In third place, with a score of 75.17, that's 75.17, Paquata Township High School from Pompton Plains, New Jersey, under the direction of Anthony Stiefer. In second place, with a score of 76.00, that's 76.00, Immaculata High School from Somerville, New Jersey, under the direction of Nicholas Seifert. And in first place, with a score of 76.17, that's 76.17, Newtown High School from Sandy Hook, Connecticut, under the direction of Kurt Eckert. We would like to recognize our exhibition bands this evening. Arvada West High School from Arvada, Colorado, under the direction of Nick Hansberry. And Brian McMahon High School from Norwalk, Connecticut, under the direction of Ron Secchi. Congratulations to all our Division II marching bands. Moving on to Division Three Marching Band. In fifth place, with a score of 70.83, that's 70.83, Livingston High School from Livingston, New Jersey, under the direction of James Haganis. In fourth place, with a score of 73.33, that's 73.33, Ridgewood High School from Ridgewood, New Jersey, under the direction of John Luckenbill. In third place, with a score of 74.00, that's 74.00, Vernon Township High School from Vernon, New Jersey, under the direction of Max Taylor. In second place, with a score of 75.67, that's 75.67, Council Rock High School South from Holland, Pennsylvania, under the direction of John Burns. And in first place, with a score of 80.83, that's 80.83, Edison High School from Edison, New Jersey, under the direction of Mark Dinequolo. 
Congratulations to all our Division Three bands. Moving to Division Four marching band. In fourth place, with a score of 74.67, that's 74.67, Normal High School from Normal, Illinois, under the direction of Ryan Budzinski. In third place, with a score of 75.17, that's 75.17, Milton High School from Milton, Wisconsin, under the direction of Nathan Pierce. In second place, with a score of 77.83, that's 77.83, Wallet Lake Central High School from Wallet Lake, Michigan, under the direction of David Rogers. And in first place, with a score of 78.17, that's 78.17, South Jones High School from Ellisville, Mississippi, under the direction of Brian Joyce. Ladies and gentlemen, how about one more big round of virtual applause for all the performances? We invite individual soloists, ensembles, and marching bands of all styles, sizes, and skill levels to join us for the remaining season of virtual U.S. Bands performance and competition. You can find out more information and register today at usbands.org. Join us next week for the Dumoulin Invitational, which features over 70 marching bands, ensembles, soloists, and more. Plus, we'll be right back here next Saturday, October 10th at 7 p.m. for the Virtual U.S. Bands Weekly Awards Ceremony with more special features and results. Remember to subscribe to flowmarching.com today for access to all of the Virtual U.S. Bands excitement. Draw majors, wherever you may be, you are dismissed. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for attending the Virtual U.S. Bands Yamaha Cup Award Ceremony and for supporting the music program in your school. We hope you'll join us at another virtual U.S. Bands event next week and throughout the season. I'm Adam Hamway. You can follow me on the Instagram and the Twitter at Adam Hamway. <laughs>